Okay, that's the one. Right. There is another angle formed here now by the same chord AB. In part one, we learnt a rule, right? Well, the rule says angles made by the same chord are equal in the same segment. So if that's a 57, this can be 57, right? So now you can actually follow what is happening. The angle between a tangent and a chord is equal to the angle made by the same chord in the alternate segment. Now that's rule number three and a very important rule. Okay. Most of the higher grade sums are based on this. Right. Let's talk about this. You have a tangent, then you have a chord. The chord starts from the point of contact, please. Okay. Now, using that chord, we made an angle in the alternate segment. We measured both angles. They seem to be same, right? Equal. Now, we need to make a generalization here, a general rule, which we call as a tan chord rule. The textbooks call them as alternate segment rule. If not, they call it as tan chord rule. Okay. Now, how to simplify that? Angle between tangent and a chord at the point of contact is equal to angle made by the same chord in the alternate segment. Now, this is the most important rule, please. Okay. This is the rule number three. So, we studied tangent properties in that this is the last one. Say, Well, we got one or two more, but not for you people. Right. Now, let's recollect what we learned, the three basic rules. Tangents only, please. The angle between radius and a tangent is 90. A radius and tangent, please remember that. Angle between tangent and radius is always 90. Okay. At the point of contact. Do not forget that. The second rule says, <coughs> From an external point, you can draw only two tangents. You cannot draw more than two. From an external point, you can draw only two tangents to a given circle. Right? Now, what is the speciality of this law means? If you measure the lengths, those two tangents will be equal in length up to the point of contact. We are not supposed to take the complete line into account. We got to take the tangent up to the point of contact only. So those two are equal in, in length. Number three, we just did now. Practically, we have seen. This is called tan chord rule. Okay, Angle between a tangent and a chord is equal to the angle in the alternate segment made by the same chord. Okay. This is called tan chord rule. Okay. Three rules. Please remember them because we are, we are doing lots and lots of sums based on those three rules. Now, we need to recollect uh, the, the laws that we learned in part one and two, please, because they play an important role in these sums. Okay. Right. Let's say... The, the sums. So now I have given one more here for you to see. You can do this right uh, without wasting much of our time. We move to the questions now, right? Okay. <clears throat> uh, let's turn to page four, please. Let's turn to page four and we are going to solve some questions. We are going to solve some sums, right? Page four. Uh, basically, we don't have uh, major sums like in every question, we are simply going to find the missing angles. And we may need to uh, reasons, we, we may need to write the uh, reasons for each one. Okay, now, that's page
page four, and I'm in question one. Well, you, you got some things here. They asked you to find those angles. Please watch three letter notation, right? It's three letter notation, please. We know angle forms at the center letter. Well, there is something missing. Can you please put a hat on top there? Right. Now, do not look at them first, okay? Study this. You're allowed to turn the picture as you like, as I said. 